When Derek and I decided to climb our first mountain in 2009, uh, it was the beginning of June, and actually uh, that isn't a really good time, as we know now, to climb. We decided to climb the South Sister. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. We didn't quite know what we were getting into, but uh, we knew that it was gonna be hard and that uh, we wanted to do it. But we just had no idea what was going to be ahead of us. And uh, from the video that I took, you can really get a grasp on just how intense the conditions were. I believe it's June 6th. <laughs> We are surrounded by snow. <laughs> we are really tired. <laughs> There's so much snow everywhere, and we kind of got, well, we didn't get lost, we went off trail. Well, there, wasn't trail. there wasn't a trail to even find, actually. There was three feet of snow from the trailhead. It, every single step we would be sinking in and stepping out of that hole that we just made, and which is like running in sand. It just makes it so hard, and it drains you so quickly. And it didn't help that we didn't have crampons, we didn't have snowshoes or skis. We were sinking in the snow. So we made it to our designated spot for our first night, and it was really, really tough. Our packs were about 50 pounds or so. We packed way too much food. We packed way too much gear. We got about three and a half miles. Yeah, three, three and a half miles today. Oh, that's all we went. It's horrible. I think it was because initially we didn't really plan on climbing the South Sister. It was kind of a make it up as you go along trip, I think. What we wanted to do initially was just go on a hike on the Pacific Crest Trail. But you live and learn, right? <laughs> <laughs> 